Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that a bag contains a large number of 1p, 2p and 5p coins. And the breakdown is that 50% are 1p coins, 20% are 2p coins and 30% are 5p coins. Now a random sample of three coins is chosen from the bag. Um, first of all, we've got to list all the possible samples of size 3 with median of 5p and that's for two marks and then in part b go on to find the probability that the median value of the sample is 5p and that's for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video and when you come back you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's start with part A then. And if we're to list down all the possible samples of size 3 with median 5p, then remember that the middle number must be 5. So if I just put 5 down, if they're, all, if they're arranged in order of size, then what we would have is that we could pick a 1, and then the 5 and then after that we can't have another 1 or a 2 we've got to have another 5p coin but that's not all that you could have if you just have 155 because you could pick out the, the coins in any order first of all so therefore you could have for instance let's just move the 1 into the second place you could have 515 or you could have had 5, 5, 1. Remember, we're just picking the coins out. They could have come out the bag in any of these orders. But then, when they're rearranged in order of size, the medium would be 5. It's not the only combination, though, we could have. If the medium were to be 5, you could have, say, instead of a 1 there, you could have a 2 and then get your 5 and then the next value would have to be a 5. And if that were the case, then the combinations you could have with this would be if we just slip the 2 as the second value, you'd have 5, 2, 5. Or we could have 5, 5, 2. There is another way that we could have a median of 5, and that is that if all the coins picked out were 5p coins. But that would be the only combination that we could have. So there's our possible samples of size 3 then, which would have a median of 5p. So Let's move on to part B now where it asks us to find the probability that the median of the sample is 5p. So we'll have an intro here, probability then that the median equals 5p. And what combinations could we have? Well, we know that they're these combinations. And if we start, say, with the first one here, the probability of getting 1p coin, we know that 50% are 1p coin, so that's going to be 0 0.5. And then we would multiply that with the probability of getting a 5p coin, which is a 30% chance, so that's going to be 0 0.3. So it times that by 0 0.3. And then we'd have another 5p coin, which would be times with another 0 0.3. So that's going to be... 0.3 squared. Now we're going to have exactly the same probability here for this one, although it would be a different order. It would be 0.3 for the 5, then 0.5 times 0.3. But essentially, same sum as this, and that applies to this one. So I would add up three of these quantities. So I'm just going to times by three there. Now, when we come on to the second row here, we've got the probability of getting a 2, 5, and a 5. It's a mutually exclusive event, so it add. And so, probability of getting a 2p coin, well, that's going to be 20% or 0 0.2. 
and then getting a 5 and another 5p coin, well that's going to be 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, so 0 0.3 squared. And again, we're going to have exactly the same probabilities here and here, 3 times over. So we'd have to add this quantity 3 times, so it's quicker just to say times 3. And then for this last one here, getting all 5p coins, well that's going to be plus 0 0.3 all cubed. And if you work this out on your calculator, you find you end up with 0.216. Now it's worth mentioning, by the way, that uh, these probabilities don't change, okay? We're keeping them as constant values. And that's because we're saying that the bag contains a large number of coins. Strictly speaking, when you take a coin out the bag, the probability will reduce. But purely because we've got a large number of coins, that probability is going to be insignificant when it changes. Okay, so that's why we're keeping these probabilities constant, just in case you are wondering.